In this video, I'm going to show you how to use something called the MeSH database to get a more focused set of results when you're searching for articles in PubMed. Anytime you want to access PubMed as a PACE student, you should go to the library homepage first, library.pace.edu, click on the databases tab, and then select the letter P. And if you scroll down, PubMed will be the last database in the list alphabetically. The reason for doing this is that PubMed is available for free online at pubmed.gov but then you don't get all of the full text access from our PACE database subscriptions and you won't have access to our interlibrary loan system to request any articles that we don't have full text access. That way you avoid hitting any paywalls by using our PACE subscriptions and our PACE interlibrary loan service, whereas if you just go straight to pubmed.gov, you're going to hit a lot of paywalls where the full text of the article is not available for free. The search I'm going to do is based on some personal experience. I have been having some low back pain right now, and I do practice yoga, but when I tried it the other day, it did not help my back. So I wanted to see what does the research say about yoga as a treatment for low back pain. So just a general search in PubMed, a uh, general keyword search does actually work pretty well. Their search algorithms are very good and, and have gotten better. You can see that I got some results that right off the top do look pretty good, but I can be more focused and more specific here. Click on the pubmed.gov logo to go back to the PubMed homepage and scroll down here under explore to where it says mesh database. Mesh stands for medical subject headings. NLM is the National Library of Medicine. And what a controlled vocabulary thesaurus is means it's a specific list of terms and vocabulary that the National Library of Medicine assigns to articles in PubMed to make it easier to find them. Indexing this, this process of assigning specific vocabulary to articles in a database is used in a lot of different databases to aid searching, to make it easier to find what it is you are specifically looking for. First, I want to find the MeSH term, the medical subject heading for low back pain. When I hit search, it takes me straight through and as it turns out, the medical subject heading is low back pain. And I can check the definition up at the top to make sure that that is what I'm looking for. And if I scroll down, I can see at the bottom where it fits in the MeSH hierarchy. MeSH, this list of specific vocabulary, is organized hierarchically, meaning it goes from broad categories to more specific down to the most specific. And I can see that low back pain is the most specific heading available. There's nothing more specific underneath it. Sometimes you'll see that there are narrower subject headings under the term that you were looking for that might be better and more focused as a search term to get you to the specific results that you want. So now to start building my search, I'm going to select restrict to mesh major topic. So when the indexers, the people who work for the National Library of Medicine who assign these terms to articles in PubMed, do that work, they will note if the specific subject heading is a major topic of the article. So I want to find articles that are about low back pain, that that's really the focus, not about you know, muscle pain in general. So when I click add to search builder, it pops up that I'm looking for low back pain, articles that have been tagged with that specific medical subject heading and where it has been noted as a major topic of the article. So now I'm gonna add the other aspect of my question, which is yoga. And I can also just click on the little box next to yoga and click add to search builder. And the default is to add it to the search builder with the search operator and. That's what I want. I want articles that have been tagged with low back pain as a major, to major topic and also tagged with the subject heading yoga. If I wanted to change that search operator, I can change it here and change it to and or or not to either broaden or narrow my search. So now I'm going to go ahead and click search PubMed. And in this case, I get 94 results instead of my first search um, without going into the MeSH database that got me 220 results. And I can see again, my results look good, but I can narrow these even further using the filters over here on the left. Very useful filter is to limit the publication date to the last five years, though you can put in a more specific date range, but very often your professors will ask you to find an article published in the last five years. And if I want to limit further, I can click on additional filters and see what other options are available. So for example, if I want to limit to results that are about women, I would click on sex and then click show 
and here is my filter to limit to articles about people who are female identified but I haven't actually activated that filter yet. I need to click on the little box next to it to actually activate that filter. And then it shows me that I've applied the filters for articles published in the last five years that have been uh, tagged as being about female identified people. And that brought me down to 16 results. And I can scroll through and quickly look at the titles. If there's a title that's interesting, I'll click on it. It'll give me the abstract, a little more information about the article. But then to actually find the article, I want to look over in the right corner where it says full text link. Usually the top link will be from the publisher and that's going to take me to a paywall. So the link that I want to use is this gray link that says search for item. And that is the link from Pace. It looks the same across all of our databases. And it will check if we have access to that article in any of our databases. If we don't, you'll get an option that says request using Iliad for interlibrary loan. So I would just click on that link. If you haven't created an account for Iliad for our interlibrary loan system, there will be an option to do so. You need to create the account with your PACE email, but then it'll take you into the system and it'll automatically fill out all of the information for the article you're interested in. And all you need to do is scroll down and hit submit request at the bottom. Articles usually take, we say one to two business days, but it's often faster than that. You'll get an email to your PACE email when the article is ready with a link to log back into this Iliad system. And when you do, you click on view electronically received articles in the left menu. I don't have any articles right now, but if I did, they would be here listed here and there would be a PDF link under view that I could open up the PDF, print it out and download it and save it to my computer. I will mention that PubMed is a really helpful database, but it can be kind of overwhelming because it's also a really large database. So I will note that on the PubMed homepage, they have an FAQ and user guide, they have an about PubMed link, and they have really helpful tutorials available there. You can also find help from the library by going back to the library homepage, clicking on research guides. And if you search, for example, for nursing, you'll see some of our research guides on nursing. If I go to the nursing research guide, and if you click on the health database tutorial, you'll find some video tutorials that we've created. You can also always reach out to any of the librarians from the library homepage by clicking on the Ask a Librarian link. When it says chat now, there's a librarian that you can chat with right away. Um, if not, there will be an, an option to submit an email and you can contact us that way.